Good morning. Last year, we announced support for the NVIDIA Jetson, and here it is in a box. Not only is it in a box powered by a battery, uh, but it's fully offline. So we're going to demonstrate this using the ATAC plugin and a Wi-Fi connection between the two. Uh, this is a, a Jetson Orin Nano, eight gigabytes, with 128 gig of storage. So you can put lots of LiDAR on there and use it offline with ATAC. ATAC provides the mapping. So first of all, we need to go and connect to the network. So let's go and switch on the Wi-Fi. You can also use a wired connection here if you're not into Wi-Fi. And there we have a network, Jetson. Let's connect to that and see what it says. Well, it's connected, but there is no internet access, which is key to this demo, because we want to prove that Soothsayer does work offline and you just need to know a bit about networking. On ATAC, we've got the Soothsayer plugin and it's going to connect to the Soothsayer server. This is version 1.8 from last year, uh, using this address and that account. So we hit login and it should synchronize the templates downloads uh, the templates onto ATAC and we can then use them. So we've got two uh, LiDAR templates here to show off the power of the GPU and a big drone. So let's start with uh, the five meter resolution template just to show you it working. So I'm going to place uh, some radios down here in Gloucester Keys and as you can see already it's done a multi-site request using the GPU. So that was pretty fast uh, considering this is uh, powered off a battery and it's only 15 watts of power. For comparison, CloudRF uses GPUs which use 300 watts of power. So this is a fraction of the power, but it's, it's very well put together, uh, this thing, so it works well. Let's add a third radio. The links are powered by the CPU and the heat map is done by the GPU. You can actually uh, choose to switch off the layers if you don't want to uh, see the heat map. So as you can see, it's able to perform uh, GPU calculations uh, very well and CPU calculations as good as the, uh, the production system or the public system at least. Okay, let's take it up a gear and go to two meter resolution. So two meter resolution is uh, pretty intense. Uh, in the past, uh, you'd be waiting a long time to do two meters with um, a CPU. So using the Jetsons GPU, um, we're able to model that at two meters. You saw an error message there, that's because it couldn't make a link uh, because it's Billy No Mates, there's nobody to link to. Uh, now there's a link. And hopefully two meter coverage heat map. It takes a bit longer than five meters because you're doing a lot more work, but it can do it. So it can do uh, very high resolution calculations with LiDAR, uh, which you need to add locally. And just to finish off, uh, let's go and add uh, the drone. So let's go and stick a drone uh, over here, west of the city, and there you go. So that's an offline demo of uh, Soothsayer 1.8, uh, running on um, a Jetson Orin Nano, eight gigabytes, and it performs very well. We're very happy with it.